All right. What number are you again? Just 75. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a bad number, too. <laughs> Your brother was I know. Number. That's why it's such a bad number. I was 67 when I was a freshman. Well, what the heck? It Why'd you change? It changed it for me. Why? I don't, ask. I don't know. That's it changed it when up. I moved to tackle. Was it the lack of facial hair? Probably. Is that what it was? Okay, so what do we got here? Talk to me about this play. There's Farmer going across the formation. And Allen a huge hole, and he is gone. Touchdown, SC. That's two for Buck Allen. So we got power, and I'm... An oldie but a goodie. Yep. And I'm just man up on the nose guard. They saw the blitzing linebackers, so they ended up deucing down to... Nice. It's good pad level. Good inside hands. Nice and stout. Look at it. Ooh. Double knee brace versus double knee brace. That's the one thing I don't miss from college. Knee braces, you take yours off? Yeah, they suck. Yeah. They're really fun when they get super sweaty too and you're in the middle of a game and you're trying to pull them up. Yeah. It's the first thing you want to do. You get a rash every single year in the back. Oh yeah. Lingers the whole season. You start breaking out on your leg and yeah. everybody just looks at you funny. You can't wear shorts anymore. All right, do we have a different play than power this time? Buck Allen up the middle to the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Buck Allen. Max Turk did a good job. He had a pancake block on that thing, too. See, the best thing you can do on these kind of plays, especially inside zone, is stay square. What you do, you keep your shoulders square, and it allows you to get up to the backer quicker. I think the biggest thing uh, that I think I could have done a better job of in my college career was finishing. It's something I learned in the pros. That's the hardest thing I think for offensive linemen is, yeah. is you got good first step, you make good contact, but see some guys can't do this. They can't finish on a guy, they can't get into his body. I mean, if you don't finish on this guy, it's still a three, four yard game, but you finish this guy and look at the huge run it turns into. Does he score here? I believe so. Yeah, so that's the difference of a touchdown. That's awesome. Now I'm, really wish, now I'm really wishing you wore the number 67. Now this is just really pissing me off that you're rocking 75. This could have been a whole cool legacy thing with the number 67. You just ruined it for me, thanks. I know. Thanks a lot. I was, oh, we're on me now. There we go. Were you just checking for the three pick there? Make yeah, sure so my out. favorite thing to do when we play here, we, we ran a lot of zone stuff. Yeah. And one of the things that I really loved doing was run into the three and blasting him on his oh, hip yeah. and opening up the hole. Yeah. So I would I would shoot out of there as fast as I can and then um, one of the things I try to do a good job of is redirecting and getting up quick to the linebacker yeah. and it's funny when I was here we always had like older guys come back and they were like cherish it man it goes by fast and this is the best time of your life and you're just like all right old timer like Turn the page. Yeah. It's time to go. And then, you know, I'm nine years removed from it, and then I'm telling you, it goes by fast, and it's the best time of your life. Get You get emotional walking around this campus not being a student athlete here. You take that for granted. What was, like, some of the things you guys did during the season, like, leadership-wise? We just worked our tails off. Yeah. Always felt like we were the hardest-working group. The thing I got upset about was is... <clears throat> You know, there was always a lot of highlights of us and there was always a lot of talk about us goofing around and having fun, but I would argue we were probably one of the hardest working programs in college football. I think once you get kind of that synergy going with the pride of the group and everybody has that one goal, I mean, talent-wise, you guys are the best in, in the country. So it's just a matter of making sure everybody's on the same page. Coach Sark's a great coach. You've got incredible um, assistant coaches. You guys are going to be awesome.